So I want to tell you the number one mistake that I made when I decided to start my own real estate team. Hey, I'm Phil Duke Jr. I'm with First Class Real Estate down in Northport, Alabama. And as of today, uh, as the time I'm recording this video, today I've got five locations, over 70 agents, and I'm also part owner of a title company. But got to tell you, it wasn't always this easy. And the number one mistake that I made was thinking small. All right, so if you're like me and you've thought about making a jump to being a broker owner or a team leader, or maybe you already have made that move, like I tell you, one of the most dangerous things you can do is to have a small team or a small brokerage. All right, let me give you an example uh, to kind of help you see this a little bit clearly. So at one point in my real estate career, I started doing pretty well. I, I bought some rental properties. I thought, hey, let's get some passive income. And so in a short amount of time, I found myself with three rental properties and money was coming in and I had a property manager that was managing everything for me and it was the greatest thing ever, right? Until one of those tenants decided to stop paying. We had to evict them. On one house, the air conditioner broke. So there goes $5,000. And so I had three rental properties. Two of them were losing money. One of them was bringing a little bit of money in. But all of a sudden, my little side hustle, my side gig was not so much of a side gig anymore. It was more of a headache than anything. So running a real estate team or running run a real estate brokerage is very similar. If you're thinking about making that move or you've already made that move, I'm betting you're, you're somewhat of a top producer in your area. Okay, You're probably doing at least 30, 40, 50 or more transactions yourself. And now you're going to continue doing those 30, 40, 50 transactions, hopefully. But now you're also going to have to try to manage a business. You've got to onboard people. You've got to teach them how to use your systems. You've got to pay commission checks out. Now, everybody starts off small. So if you're small right now, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But staying small is a whole other thing. In fact, staying small as a broker or as a team leader is one of the most dangerous things that you could do. So let me ask you this. If you had 30 agents... How many transactions per month do you think 30 agents could close? Maybe 20, maybe 30, maybe 50. So if you've got that many transactions coming in, now all of a sudden you've got enough revenue to pay for some of that admin support that you need. So it's actually safer to go bigger. You know, if you've got 30 agents and all of a sudden two or three of them leave, it doesn't hurt you quite as bad, just like with my rental properties. If I had 30 rental properties and two of them stopped paying and one of them had an air conditioner that was torn up, I've still got 27 of them that are acting right. But what I see, and my biggest problem as well, again, it took me 18 months to get to 10 agents, but it only took me nine months to go from 10 agents to over 40 agents when I finally figured this out. So the name of the game, if you want to have a scalable cash flow, money-making machine business as far as a real estate team or real estate brokerage, you got to go big. Don't play small. Don't try to increase per agent production. All right, Per agent production is that mythical thing that you just can't really increase a whole lot. Maybe you can uh, somewhat, but your top producer this quarter is going to want to take their foot off the gas next quarter. Your top producer, your top producer from last year is going to have some personal stuff come up the next year, and they're going to need to take their foot off the gas. Control what you can control, and that is the number of agents you've got, the level of support that you provide them, the playbook that you provide them, how well you can coach them through it, and I bet your team and your brokerage is going to be a whole lot more successful when you go big. Don't play small. Don't think small. Go big.